Hello everybody, welcome to another video about action figure photography. I'm back here at one of my favorite spots in the nature. Weather is very good today, a slight breeze, so pretty much perfect. And I'm going to try to get some shots here. So while we're getting there, I can tell you that I am using a technique for action figure shots called Dieta. Uh, it's on the screen now. And it's a, a kind of checklist that I use to try to get at least decent action figure shots. And uh, it's from a friend of mine who is actually a photographer. He uh, takes pictures from war zones, etc. And uh, he tried to figure out what the most important aspects of a very good photography are. So, um, thanks to him, <laughs> I borrowed these from him and used them for action figures instead of war pictures. I have uh, brought two figures, two characters with me today here in Oland and also at the plume figure and um, I don't know which one of them to use yet I was looking at this spot actually a very cool spot but I I was thinking that it might not be that realistic because if you put a figure here the surrounding plants and flowers and and whatever might look too big and too unrealistic so I'm I have to find somewhere else So now we have a spot here. It's not spectacular, but I think we can get a shot here. The figure is more or less in position between some rocks. And then the first thing I do is to remove these. As I mentioned before, they look too big and unrealistic. Uh, I think the rest here is pretty good. So, yeah, get out of the way. And we have some sun, we have a little shadow. And now I'm going to explain this Dieta checklist. So first up we got D for design, which is how to position the figure, as I just did, try to clear out the area, figure out what angle, is he close enough to the rock, etc. This is the design of the photo. And next up we have intention. I like that there is an intention, what is the figure doing? Clearly here he's hiding, lurking, maybe looking to surprise someone who's coming from this direction. He clearly is about to do something, so he has an intention. Then we have E for emotion. And uh, this figure is a masked figure, so it can be very difficult to tell if he has an expression on his face, but I think there could be emotion. Maybe he, is, he has the upper hand, he's cool, he's waiting. He could also be under pressure. So I guess the emotion part is open for the viewer, but uh, well, it's here, I guess. And then we have T for timing. So when this shot is taken, are there any aspects that I have to consider if the wind was blowing and this figure maybe had so a cape or something, I could try to make the wind catch the cape and make it flow. So uh, it could also be the lightning. Here there are shadows moving on the rocks. So the timing aspect, I guess here it's, it's not a big deal. And finally, the last letter is A for action. Is something happening here? Well, actually not. I could take a handful of dirt and try to throw it at the figure. It would create an action effect. I could use smoke. I could use it after, when I'm editing the picture. But maybe the action is also about what is about to happen. Is he just standing still? I guess now he's waiting, but he's actually also in the middle of a movement because his feet are resting here. He is in an unstable position, he could be revealed. 
very shortly and then he would have to run or something. So I guess it's also an action pose. So in this case I've run through the checklist and I've decided that, well, some of the aspects are more present here than others, but I think it works out fine. I'm going to take this shot. So to begin with I tried to grab the shot from here, but I quickly figured out that I think I got the best shots from over here, where he is more hiding behind the rock. Just got a glimpse of the sun too. So, well, that was what I thought. Now I'll have to see when I get back home. So, here we have it. Basically me going home now from this beautiful spot. And I really don't know if I've got anything useful with me from today, but uh, I think so. But we'll see when I get back home and get into the editing process. Ah, yeah, beautiful weather. But, uh, that was the outdoor session from today. <laughs> so let's check out the shots from today. Here a few with the Diplume figure and also a few with Nolan. But of course, most important, let's take a look at the shot we were talking about. And here it is in the unedited version and then the slightly edited final version. All in all I'm pretty happy with it because I think it has several of the dieta elements in it. Hopefully you found this action figure photography checklist useful. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Leave a comment and subscribe and also check out my Instagram if you'd like to see more.